Hello, this is Haida with another iColorama video. I will use race number five in masking to create some metallic effects. This time I am going to start with a photo. I could quite easily go into effect, raise number five and show you the different slider position, positions and be done with it. You see, there's already a lot possible just by using any kind of photo and using race 5. I'm usually building up an image with many different layers before I do this, the race effect and I'll show you a few of those steps that I often find myself using. One step would be to use coherence and in this case I actually want to use coherence number 5 to create a really nice and smooth image. I apply this because I want to continue with this picture. I also save it just in case I want to go back later and use it for something else. So now I could use rays number five and again already have quite a bit of a metallic effect showing up. Again, changing the position of the lights, going up or down, creates a lot of different effects here. The other rays presets have metallic effects as well, just not as intense as number five. Okay, so this is one step. My step after the coherence would still not be directly to go into rays. I would try to add some maybe patterns or texture first before I attempt to do the rays. Okay, let's try that then. Um, if I add a pattern, for example this one, and use multiply on this and maybe not quite as strong that should be okay I apply this and I save it and now I might add maybe a little bit of maybe a little bit of color using a texture How's that? Yeah. How about this? This could be quite interesting, but for my liking, way too strong. So this is where I realize that I would like to do some masking. And masking is possible through using brushes, but masking is also possible through using uh, mainly black and white existing image. I like to use threshold on the image that I am actually working on for this, and I'll show you how I do this. So I go back to my coherence picture. And I find threshold and save those that I find have interesting shapes on it. And this is really just about getting a shape. I save this one. I always play with the sliders quite a lot. And I like what's happening here in the top right corner. So I will save this as well. And there was another nice one 
I have already played with it before creating this video just to make the video a bit quicker. I save this as well. And there are lots of possibilities. Any of these can become a mask and I'll show you in a minute how to use this as a mask. I save this. So now I have three different threshold images. But I want to go back to the picture where I was before, which was my third step. So here's my third step. And I wanted to add some red, but I did not want to have the red over the whole picture. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to find this texture again that I thought I would like. I think it was this one. And now I tap on brush mask. My purpose is to use one of those threshold images that I saved earlier as a mask. Within brush mask we have import and here we can see those three pictures that I just saved with thresholds and I use this. Now it's quite easy to see I have the red is only, I'll show it again. You see the red is only there where the black parts are on my threshold. Okay. Now if I want to try the opposite, I say invert. Now the red will be wherever the white parts were on my threshold picture. But I will try this and maybe maybe soft light or multiply. I think soft light. Soft light will be fine. So I'm going to use this and I apply this. Okay, and I save this. I'm trying to save lots, just I find sometimes I can reuse something somewhere else if I have saved it. And it helps me to remember which steps I did to get to some result. Now I will add some texture. And the texture I want to add is a photo that I took years ago of a piece of snow. which in itself has already some nice glowing effects in there, some, something that adds later on to the metallic effects that I want to achieve with this particular picture. So now in this case, I can see my white background because I still have the mask in place. I can see my white snow picture only on those parts where the mask, the original threshold picture is black. If I invert it, this is where it's white. Well, this actually is, these are nice shapes. <laughs> I hadn't tried it like that. This is beautiful. I like this. We can try different overlays. Oh, sorry, different presets. But for in this case, I will remove the mask so that I have the snow meaning my texture over everything and try. Yes, I'll use, I'll use overlay for this. And again, I will save, apply and save so that I can continue using this, what I can see at the moment. So I had removed the mask. I click I tap on the brush mask so that it's not in my way. And now I will try to see what we can do with rays. Okay, so this is rays number one, which is quite interesting in itself. But let's go to rays number five. <clears throat> I often try 
with lightness very low and size very high because I like strong effects. But again, for me this is way too much everything the same, so I will use the threshold picture again as a mask to apply the race effect only on part of the picture. Okay, so import. This is the one that we have used before. Here we go. You can see that the, the race compared to without it brings out quite an intense metallic effect, which we certainly can reduce as much as we want, or with opacity reducing this. But it's easier to see when it's strong. Now, I think this is quite interesting, but I like to play, so I will invert this. And now we're having other areas which are being raised. And I invert this again, I like this better. And I'll try another option, which is using a different mask. And I really like this actually, because of this top right corner, it's really nice. And maybe if I move those sliders with a different light, you see how it really changes Yes, this is, this is something I would like to continue working on. I find I have quite a bit of rice, but I have, don't have it everywhere. I still have a little bit of the snow effect, which I like as well. So I would apply this for now and save it. And then try to get creative. To